Hi, I'm Judy Shaw. I'm on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Joining me today is Schumann Ghost Majumder. He's the CTO of Shape Security. Thanks for joining me, Schumann. Thanks for having me, Judy. So let's talk about Shape Security. Tell me about the company. So we're the primary line of defense for the web applications and mobile applications of the world's largest banks, retailers, insurance companies, basically the companies that uh, most of us rely on for our everyday online lives. Now, you had a big announcement today. You launched Blackfish. What is Blackfish? How does it work? So you've probably heard about the Yahoo data breach and the Equifax data breach and you know so many data breaches that have occurred over the course of the last few years. Oh, yes. So mm -hmm. last year alone, there were more than three billion passwords that were reported stolen in these data breaches. So when cyber criminals steal these passwords, it's not just the site that they've stolen them from, the site that was breached that's affected. It's actually all of these other websites where people just from their own habits have reused the same passwords that are at risk. Right, I'm and, guilty of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, uh, the average user uh, mm -hmm. just has too difficult a time of this. There was a stat that came out last week that said that more than 200 accounts on average are managed by every single corporate user. Wow. So it's no wonder that they're reusing their passwords. Mm -hmm. That's so, a large amount. Yeah, so what uh, cyber criminals do when they get these passwords from one site like Yahoo is they test them automatically against the login forms of other websites. And uh, because of the fact that users are reusing the same passwords, they're able to unlock new accounts like bank accounts and retail accounts uh, because of this. And so what Blackfish does is it actually prevents those passwords from being valid on all of the other websites that are now at risk from something like the Yahoo breach. So what it can do is it automatically determines when a password is in the hands of cyber criminals because of the fact that they're using them in these types of attacks and then invalidates those passwords across the entire network. Wow, so this is a global problem. How do you see this changing the world, Blackfish? So I think that uh, credential stuffing attacks, which is what these attacks are called, are now at pandemic proportions. So we see them accounting for a tremendous amount of traffic. In some cases, we see more than 90% of the login activity on some of the largest retail sites in the world coming from credential stuffing attacks. So what we're hoping for from Blackfish is that if the cyber criminals can't take over accounts on various websites because we've made those passwords invalid, then we can actually end credential stuffing attacks. Okay. So what's the most critical problem when it comes to cyber attacks? It's probably the fact that uh, users reuse their passwords. So. Uh, you know, for, through no fault of their own, uh, it's difficult to be able to manage so many passwords. And so this isn't a traditional type of security issue that companies are dealing with. You can figure out how to be able to create an application more securely. You can figure out how to be able to add uh, more security controls. But if your users are actually making their passwords available to multiple websites and then one of those sites gets breached, that's something that you have to deal with in a completely different way. And that's where Blackfish comes in. You mentioned a large number of breaches that we've heard of recently. I mean, some very large corporations, you mentioned Yahoo, um, all of their users being affected. Why aren't we hearing of these breaches sooner? I mean, it seems like we're hearing that it's happening years ago. We're, we're now learning of this. Why, why, is, why aren't we hearing this sooner? Well, by definition, we can only have a discussion about the breaches that we're aware of. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a lot of cases, it takes a while for companies themselves to be even become aware of them. Mm -hmm. So you look at Yahoo, for example, and it was two years right. before Yahoo knew that they were breached. And then, of course, there's a window of time between a company discovering that they were breached and uh, disclosing that to the right. public. And so it's that window of time that's most critical. When cyber criminals have access to data, like passwords, to be able to take over accounts, and even the companies themselves aren't aware of it and uh, can't do anything about uh, protecting those users. So what advice would you have for individuals? How can they protect their information? You know, there's a lot of good security habits that people can adopt, and I think that there's a lot of education that we need to do throughout the world on uh, cybersecurity in general. I think being able to select better passwords, making sure certainly that you don't reuse passwords across sites, and uh, you know, being able to uh, educate yourself about the different ways that you can be attacked. So for example, uh, using a password manager is one good security habit that users can adopt in right. order to be able to choose unique passwords across sites. Definitely. Now, but with the password manager, 
do you also take the chance of that being breached? <laughs> yes, you do. And in fact, you know, there's no silver bullet when right. it comes to password management or when it comes to cybersecurity in general. But for the vast majority of users, you're much better off if you do use a password manager than if you don't. Okay. Well, Schumann, thanks for that great advice. And I suggest everyone out there listen to Schumann and take his great advice. That way we can all protect ourselves from these cyber attacks. My thanks pleasure. for joining me. Thank you.